Objective 9.11b, describe the biological factors affecting levels of food security, including increasing human population, increasing animal farming and the increased meat and fish consumption, the impact of new pests and pathogens, environmental change caused by human activity, and sustainability issues. Now, in the last 100 years, the human population has absolutely exploded. This is called exponential growth, and it has had a huge impact on the environment. One of the effects of this increase in population is on food security. Food security is having access to enough food that is safe to eat and has the right nutritional balance. Therefore, the increase in population means more food needs to be produced. There are other biological factors that affect food security as well that we're going to look at, such as the change in farming practices, environmental changes caused by human activity, sustainability issues and new pests and pathogens. So first of all, farming. Now there is a higher demand for meat and fish and these are being farmed more, which is then bad news for food security. Why? Well, because on a given area of land, you can grow more food for humans by growing crops rather than having animals. To rear animals and fish, you normally need to feed them crops in the first place that could actually be eaten directly by humans. Um, and by feeding them to the animals, you get less biomass overall as you move up the food chain. So it's just not an efficient use of the land at all. So it threatens food security. Another threat to food security are environmental changes. Now, we've got a huge increase in carbon emissions due to human activity, which is leading to climate change. And this is changing global temperatures, rainfall, ocean currents, all uh, which can impact food production and reduce yields. There is also an increase in air pollution and soil pollution, which impacts food production as well. What about sustainability? Well, sustainability means that we can continue with the process at the same level without causing harm. We've got issues with a few things that are just not sustainable currently. For example, the increased demand for food has caused us to have a huge increase in the use of fertilizers to try and produce that food, but that's bad on the environment. It's very expensive for farmers. It's not sustainable to keep producing and using fertilizers at the rate that we are doing. Uh, in order to provide alternatives to fossil fuels in the future, land is also being used to grow bio biofuels like elephant grass, um, which sounds really good to be able to make biofuels rather than fossil fuels. But what about the land that's needed for crops? Should we be using land for crops or bio biofuels? We don't have enough land to be able to do both at the moment, so it's not sustainable. Now, having warmer climates due to climate change has led to pests such as insects and pathogens such as bacteria, viruses and fungi moving into new areas where they weren't currently occupying. This has destroyed crops, reduces livestock yields uh, and therefore affects food security. All these issues are meaning that food security is becoming a serious challenge for the human population.